Hey there, we're here at my homestead just outside of Missoula, Montana. Grew up on 30 acres here, but then there's national forest land just over the ridge over there. My big backyard. How lucky was I to grow up that without just outside my door? And how lucky am I to be working for an organization today that makes sure that you all have a big backyard just like I did growing up? This has been a really challenging year, 2020. It's been challenging for everybody. Here at BHA, we've met that challenge and I felt like not only learned a lot of things, but exceeded expectations. Our 40,000 members sent 120,000 plus messages to decision makers. That's a 20% increase from last year alone. What do we do with that? I would say the biggest one that we have was the Great American Outdoors Act. Had the Land and Water Conservation Fund permanently reauthorized in there with dedicated funding at $900 million a year forever. That's $900 million for access, that's $900 million for conservation. At the same time, we had $9.5 billion, with a B, to make sure we took care of the backlog of maintenance on our public lands. We've got to take care of the house that is ours. We also grew our college club system to 26 clubs now that are on campuses all across this country and in Canada that had a tough time meeting, but at the same time did 50, I will say, 50 service projects on the ground. And those service projects is part of our DNA. We want to service our members, we want to service the public lands that give us so much. In September, Public Lands Month, our members picked up 4,000 bags of trash. The year before that, it was only 600 bags, which was awesome in September, but 4,000 bags. How rad is that? Now that's just the month of September. There's also contests like our Trashy Squirrel Contest that the North Carolina chapter did. We were picking up garbage all the time. Our services and our projects on the ground are becoming more and more every single year. Now while our membership of 40,000 members, they represent every single state and every single province in North America, we continue to grow chapters all over this country. We brought on chapters in Arkansas, in Florida, in Georgia, Nebraska, South Carolina, and West Virginia. Now we're in 48 states, two Canadian provinces, and one territory. That is awesome. That is there to serve you, the people, to make sure we have access to public lands and waters and the fish and wildlife habitat when we get there. Another landscape that we work on is Bristol Bay. What a special place that is, not only to Alaskans, but all Americans. We were able to generate 18,000 messages to the EPA, Corps of Engineers, and ultimately the White House, telling them that this is a special place that we should protect and that the permit for that mine should be denied. On November 25th, the Corps of Engineers actually listened to the people and denied that mine. What a celebration for BHA, what a celebration for other organizations we work with, what a celebration for all Americans that we're able to protect this place. Now as we go into 2021, we want to make sure that we protect this place permanently so no other time will it be threatened by the ill idea of a mine at the headwaters of this important watershed. Another bright spot was the start of our Armed Forces Initiative. This is something we've been thinking about for a long time. It starts with our roots around our campfire that we started in 2004. Uh, Mike Beagle uh, was a service member. It's been part of our roots, but we hadn't really come to fruition on it. This last year we decided to start it, even in the face of a pandemic, and I'm so glad that we did. Morgan Mason in this program has actually absolutely taken off. We're in three installations now across the country. We've had uh, veteran programming, um, and also as well as active duty programming uh, throughout the year. One of the first things they could really uh, sink their teeth in was the Accelerating Veterans Recovery Outdoors Act. That's a mouthful, but basically what that did was make sure that the outdoors is part of uh, the official recovery of our veterans here in this country who have served this country. We had some amazing wins at a local level as well. Starting in Ohio, we got 50,000 acres permanently protected for public access and public opportunities on public land in Ohio. Go to Colorado, another 200,000 acres building upon these state lands that were not open to hunters and anglers. They're now open without having to pay a fee. And you go up to Alberta. Alberta led the charge fighting against some land sales that were going to happen up there. Down in New Mexico, we engaged in some legal activities that we don't do very often, but in this case we had to do to 
protect stream access in New Mexico, to make it more like Montana and less like Wyoming. Each and every day, our grassroots are working to make sure you have access to public lands and waters and the fish and wildlife habitat when you get there. Now, I've just given you a small smattering of what we do, but every single day, all across this country, again, we are working to make sure you have access to public lands and waters and the fish and wildlife habitat when you get there. Thank you for everything you do to make that possible. Let's make sure that we make 2021 even better than 2020.